Mike Bond here in Washington after the 2023 PFL Championship where Olivier Aubin Mercier just won his second consecutive lightweight season, another million dollars, another belt. Olivier, I know it's been in a very emotional few months and night for you. Just tell me how you're feeling right now. Uh, I, I don't know how I'm feeling, to tell you the truth. It's a weird uh, sensation, like since the beginning of the, the day. I, I felt that uh, I don't have it anymore, you know, I don't feel uh, I don't feel the butterfly anymore and uh, it was just a normal day for me and look I, I knew it was my last time um, but it was a strange feeling to tell you the truth it was uh, really strange interesting um, what do you say you don't have it do you just mean like the drive the nerves um, like the hunger to maybe hurt people like what, what would you say it is yeah no I think uh, I still have the drive it's just the butterfly and they're not there anymore you know uh, I was backstage like hanging like it was a normal day, you know, just a training. And the tough, the, the fight was tough, I, I won't lie, but still, uh, uh, even the joy at the end of the fight, uh, I didn't really uh, felt it uh, this time. Uh, maybe it's because, like, I knew it was, uh, I was emotional, you know, because uh, it was my last, my last time, so. I don't know. It was a weird, uh, weird experience. Yeah. Uh, before we get into what you just said there, I mean, how do you feel the fight went? Um, did he do things that maybe you weren't expecting? Were you able to execute the game plan? How do you feel that side of it went? Yeah, I think I was uh, able to execute the game plan. But uh, to be honest, the first two rounds, when I took his back twice, I burned out my legs. Uh, and in between the, the second and the third round, I was like, holy shit, I think I pushed too much like uh, with my body uh, triangle. And I was like really wondering, like, oh, like, I think I have to take a little break the, the next round. And I think I won the third round. And uh, after the fourth, I was like, yeah, okay, I need, uh, I need to take this one a little bit easier and then come back for the fifth because I, I, was, I wasn't sure I was winning the third round. So uh, I, I told myself, okay, the fourth round, let's take it easy. Let's come back really uh, strong in the, the fifth round. And like the acid lactate was there, but the cardio was, uh, was, was good, you know, I was not. Cardio-wise, I wasn't tired. It was really the acid lactic in my leg that really surprised me. So, are you retired? I think so. Like, uh, for sure, I let the, the door open. Um, but I'm going to take a year off for sure. And, you know, it's hard for an athlete to come back after a year. So, the feeling I have, it's, uh, it's my last time. Yeah, it's very interesting. I mean, I feel a lot of parallels between you and George St. Pierre and how he went out on top, obviously, you know, yeah. winning a second title. But a lot of things that you're saying, I feel like he shared. Um, did you maybe talk to him at all through this process about how you're feeling? No, no, I, I didn't. He just told me, you have to win this one because after that, you're going to be champ against champ. You know, he told me that a couple months ago. He knew what was coming and uh, he was right, actually. He was right. He was like, yo, you win this, take a break. You, you go fight the, the, the champ that uh, was champ after you. So it's, it's good money. But uh, to tell you the truth, like, I, I want to see my family. I want to pass some time with my family. And uh, right now I'm really, really happy with that. And last year when I, I won the tournament, I was like, okay, I'm going to take a good break, you know because it was a hard year but I was still keep like thinking about the next year and uh, I didn't really like a great vacation because of that but this time is going to be different you know I won't take, think about anything after in my mind I'm done so I'm going to sleep better than last year that's for sure and it's interesting too right because they're doing this champion versus champion card in february um but uzman or megamedov the bellator champion is on suspension so it seems like it wouldn't even work out for that anyways if they want you to do that so maybe you do have a window to maybe think more about it he, yeah it is positive i think uh but yeah yeah fuck i was surprised in the beginning of the the um, the event they were doing face off i was like oh man like i don't think i want to fight anymore like i don't want to do a face off i get and tell the guy like oh i'm sorry but i don't think it's gonna happen you know but uh yeah it's interesting but you know what like next year pfl is going to be interesting 155 is a really good category and uh, i'm looking forward to see uh, who's next you know and uh, who knows, maybe I'm gonna find the fire again. Who knows? As of now, right now. Um, as far as the money side, you know, life changing last year when you get that, what does a second million dollar check do for you and the security of your family and all that stuff? Look, I was good with one. And uh, so, 
<laughs> it's it's funny because I didn't think about the the million dollars uh, this time. I just wanted to end this career on a good note, you know, in a good uh, a good way, and that was the most important for me. But now that you say it, I just want a million, so it's pretty good. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Well, I guess just lastly, I will say on my behalf, you know, as a Canadian, you've done us very proud. You're obviously one of the greatest Canadian fighters in MMA history now with these back-to-back -back wins. So you should be very proud if this is it, what you've done with your career, and uh, it's been a joy to cover you and follow you. So thank you for everything you've done over the years. Thank you for everything, guys.